What came first, the sponge or the comb jelly? This is one of the most heavily debated questions in evolutionary biology, and its answer could completely change the way we think about animal evolution and the origin of complex tissues like muscles and nerves. The first scenario is the sponge sister hypothesis, and it suggests that sponges are the earliest deriving branch of the animal kingdom, and that comb jellies are more closely related to all other animals than sponges. The other hypothesis is called the Tinafore first hypothesis, and this suggests that comb jellies are the ones that came first. You see, sponges, unlike most other animals, don't have muscles or nerves, but comb jellies do. This is one of the many reasons behind the sponge first hypothesis, and suggests that sponges evolved so long ago that muscles and nerves didn't yet exist in the animal kingdom, and that these tissues evolved once in the common ancestor of tinafores and all other animals. But phylogenetic analysis using DNA, such as how gene sequences evolved and how they get shuffled around, has supported the tinafore first hypothesis. Now if this is true, that would mean that muscles and nerves evolved at least twice in the animal kingdom, once in the tinafores and once in the common ancestor of all the animals that have them. And that's all of them except for sponges and this weird group of animals called placozoa. However, there is also DNA evidence for sponge first. As it stands, the debate is ongoing and there's no definitive answer. But what do you think?